Oh, hey. <laughs> you, who are you guys doing here? Oh, you're here for a video? How did you guys get in here? What is up, guys? We're back with another epic video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my most expensive deck. You guys have seen this in a video before, but I figured we'd do an update on it, show some of these epic cards. I want to see where the prices have gone since the last video. It's been several months like it's been several months i think the deck may have changed like one or two cards and then there's a big change so first we have a giveaway today's video is based around goat format which is just a term that refers to the april 2005 i think ban list so people are still playing that format from 2005 so 16 years ago people are still playing it because it was considered one of the best formats ever whether or not it is let me know in the comments I really like it. It's called Goat Format, not for greatest of all time, like you might think, but it could double as that. But it's really standing for Scapegoat because Scapegoat was a really powerful way to play until about last year. I say all that to get into the giveaway. So we're doing Goat Format today. I decided I'd give away some extra Goat Format cards. This is 16 cards, so a pretty big giveaway. These aren't crazy like high rarity or anything, but if you don't have a Goat deck, this could be a really good start. So most of the decks have Blackluster Soldier in it. This is a good one. DD Warrior Lady is a great card. I mean, it banishes. It's a warrior. And we'll get into the warrior part of it soon. Azura Priest is actually not that good anymore, I don't think. It was in the older uh, Tier 1 decks, but I'll talk about how it is actually the meta has actually changed in like the last year, which is insane since it's a 16-year-old format. So there's an Azura Priest. Magician of Faith is just a great card, obviously. Gets you a spell back, which is awesome. Sangan, of course, always very good. Uh, these are some of the reprints, so it might have... I don't know if it has the erotic text or not. I don't think it does. Chaos Sorcerer, obviously, Chaos Monsters are great. Knight Assailant, that's from Ancient Sanctuary. Mystic Swordsman Level 2 is actually pretty good in those warrior decks against the Flip Monsters. Pot of Greed, of course. I was actually playing this one, and I realized I had a Secret Rare, so I took it out, and now I'm giving it to you guys. Book of Moon, that's first edition for Ronnie Guardian, cool. Noblewood of Crosshouts is just insane, such a good card. Premature Burial, obviously good. Ring of Destruction, that's a Hollow from Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. Speaking of Special Editions, we're opening every single Special Edition in a few weeks. It's going to be crazy. I've actually purchased all of them now. They're on their way to me, the ones that I don't have yet. So we should be seeing that video in, in just like two or three weeks, guys. And while we're here, we're opening every single 2004 tin on Saturday. That's two days from when you guys are seeing this. Every 2004 tin, there's six different tins. Make sure you guys show up for that. Subscribe to the channel. It's awesome. Okay, compulsory actor evacuation device, a good one. We'll get into more of this stuff later, but Sakuratsu armor and a dust tornado. You guys can win all those cards. All you got to do, like the video, be subscribed. Let me know your experience with goat format let me know what you think about my deck let me, let me know what you think about my new deck and uh, give me some feedback i actually have played a lot more recently than i used to i used to have the deck and not play at all and now i've actually played a few times so it's a little bit easier to make adjustments when you actually kind of play a little bit if you don't play it's really hard to change up the deck because you don't know what people are playing you don't know how to play against it whatever all that stuff so first off, we're going to get into my most expensive deck. And the reason it's so expensive is I have like the highest rarity of a lot of the cards. Not all the cards. There's a ton of options for extremely expensive cards. So I'm going to show you guys what I have. It's very similar to last time. I maybe each upgraded a few things. And then we're going to get into the new deck. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so the first deck I have, let's just start how I actually made this deck. When I first wanted to get into GOAT format, the reason I actually made it was because I knew, okay, it's an older format. I understand the cards for the most point for the most part. So it'd actually be really fun to, you know, make this deck with cards that I know and like with vintage cards that are kind of valuable. It could be fun to make an expensive deck. That was why I made the deck. So I kind of looked up a list. So it's a generic list. It was a generic go control list. And basically after that, I kind of upgraded some cards. I got some better versions and all that stuff, but I didn't actually tweak the list very much for like what I was actually using. So the deck actually isn't that great. It's very generic. It has cards to face like a lot of different decks rather than like specifically the better decks which at the time this was the tier one deck when i first started making the deck but what happened was warriors and chaos warrior actually became a tier one like within a year ago and i can guarantee you that that deck is a lot better my new deck is the warrior chaos deck and it is a lot better than this deck in my opinion but because i started with this one it's all maxed out we gotta i mean i, I just gotta keep going also it's there's not as much bling in the warrior deck, so like in terms of actually making an expensive deck, 
um, it, it's just not as easy because like Metamorphosis is not in that deck and that's like a really expensive card in this deck and all that stuff. So I have both decks now. So I'm going to show you this one first. This is the expensive one. The other one's just kind of like I threw together some extra cards I had. So let me know what you think could make this deck better. I know this deck could be better. It's just like there are some cards in here that I'll tell you I don't think are good in the deck at all, but they were in the default list and I know why they were in it and now they're just not very good. So first we have, of course, the Blackluster Soldier. This is a first edition. I don't think the condition on this guy is that great, but at this point, I don't really care. I think it's like moderately played, but it is first edition IOC, one of the high rarities. There's also the ultimate rare in Japan, and then there's the collector rare, which some people say is higher rarity, but I would prefer first edition IOC over collector rare any day, uh, personally. It's just invasion of chaos, like, come on. Then we've got two chaos sorcerers. So it's chaos control. Basically, the chaos is chaos sorcerers and the Blackluster Soldier, you get them out with your light and dark monsters in the graveyard, and they just go ham. They banish stuff, they attack with strong attacks, and like Blackluster Soldier can attack twice if you destroy something. All that stuff. So these are kind of the big boys, the big scary stuff. So these are from Turbo Pack. These are the high rarity for Chaos Sorcerer, which is kind of weird. They're just ultra rares, because it came as a common originally, then they made like a super rare, I think. Well, they made this first, I think. And then the super rare came in Legendary Collection, Yugi or something like that. So there's not many like high rarity printings of it. So this is the high rarity. It's pretty, I think it's pretty up there. Last I checked, it was like 150. I haven't checked in a long time. So you guys will see the prices as we go. I'm not gonna say prices because I haven't seen them in a while. Then there is the Air Knight Parshath, which is an interesting card. Sometimes this card is really good and sometimes it's not good at all. So with Warrior Chaos and Warrior being the tier one deck, this 1900 doesn't really do as much work as it used to. So this is really good against like scapegoat because it does piercing damage. It has 1900 attack, so it does 1900 damage to the scapegoat when they're in defense position because of the piercing damage. Then it gets to draw a card. So that's like really good in the mirror match when you're playing like another chaos control or goat control deck. But when you play against warriors, they have a ton of monsters or like 1800, 1900, 2000, like or whatever, and they have a ton of battle traps. So like you you tribute. They either Torrential Tribute you, they Ring of Destruction you, Sakuretsu Armor, Mirror Force, all that stuff can take this card out before it ever does anything. And it's a tribute, so you like tributed something. So I don't think this card's that great anymore in GOAT format. It's still, I mean, it's still a good card, but it's not great. So I, I that might be one that we remove. Here's one that is 100% just not a good card anymore. This card is solely in this deck because of the Mirror Match with Scapegoats. It can attack every single card on the field. It can hit over all the scapegoats. That's super good when you play against scapegoat. However, it's a 1700 that goes back to your hand. 1700 is not good enough a lot of the time against the warrior decks. As I was saying, they have strong bodies, they have battle traps, they have all that stuff. And then even if it is good enough, it goes back to your hand. So it's really just not that good in general. So this card I definitely would drop and it's just not good in the deck. So I think this one's gonna have to get cut. Next up, we have our Breaker the Magical Warrior, first edition MFC. There's also a debate, could TP7 be high rarity or whatever? Um, I prefer first edition MFC. I think tp 7 is cool as well. It's just nice to have first edition. I'm keeping it consistent with my Blacklister Soldier and stuff like that. But uh, just an amazing card. This is a great card. It, this is good in any GOAT deck. So there's no doubt that needs to stay. And if you guys do want to play like GOAT format, you can get the commons pretty cheap. There's a common copy of a lot of stuff. I think the value of a whole deck has gone up though. But there's a lot of cards that are like commons, and also if you win our giveaway, you get some like that. But you guys should check it out. It's a really fun format, and you also don't have to read like, you know, 50 pages of cards to figure out what your deck does. All right, the next card we have is the Blade Knight. This card's pretty good overall. I mean, it has the effect if it's the only card on the field, then it can negate flip effects. It can become a 2,000 if there's only one card in your hand. And a lot of times you are going to have like low cards in your hand. You usually don't have a ton of cards because there's not a lot of cards creating card advantage, I should say, in GOAT format. Uh, so it's it's a really good card. I would probably keep this one. Next up is Tribe Infecting. This card was banned for years, so it's definitely a good card. It's really good when you can get your Sinister Serpent in your hand and just keep discarding and destroying stuff. That's really, really good. So it's probably one that we keep in. It's a nice card. First Edition MFC. I think this is the one we pulled in the uh, actual MFC video. So check out that First Edition box if you didn't see it. Here's another pretty good card. It's not fantastic. I mean, it's good at like removing something. I could see if there was like an argument, maybe you want to get rid of it, but I think it's a solid card. There could be a better replacement, but I think it's probably going to stick in the deck. Here are two that, yes, last time we did this video, they weren't ultimate rare and they're still not. They're the Measly Duel of Saga, which Duel of Saga, for some reason, has gotten really popular. People have this weird thing where they hate something, and then a few years later, they love it. That's Duel of Saga. Duel of Saga 
Just like 2018 when I first got back into it, I opened a ton of Duelist Saga and everybody's like, Ew, Duelist Saga, it's the word, so ugly. Now everybody's like, Duelist Saga, yeah, so cool. So I guess it's cool, but we really want the ultimate rare from, I think Turbo or Astro, Astro Pack, I think. So if you guys have Astro Pack Tsukiyomi, maybe hit me up. I don't know how much they cost, but uh, maybe hit me up. We need two of those. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is just, uh, it's a must have in this deck. Um, for like flipping stuff down, like your Thousand Astro Strict and then re-stealing something or flipping down your flip monster like Magician of Faith, flipping it back up, getting Pot of Greed and doing that over and over and just making your opponent want to die. So yeah, here's one that, this one, I don't, this just feels like a really random addition, Cyber Jar. I don't think this needs to be in here. And if it does, we need the ultimate rare. That's all I'm saying. But I don't, I don't know if it needs to be in here. It doesn't really feel like it fits. It's just kind of a random card. I guess it's just like a comeback card. Like you really need to set a card. It always gets Nobleman, somehow. It always gets Nobleman. Sangin is a pretty good one, I would say, you know, because it gets you an actual search, which is unusual. You don't get a lot of card advantage in this deck, so it definitely helps out with that. Um, it's only a first edition MRD, so I don't know. Maybe we upgrade to a super rare version from Retro Pack. I don't know. I don't know if we keep it. I don't know if we don't. Let me know in the comments. Now we get into an expensive card. We got a Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper's pretty good because it can stall, like, an entire couple turns if they don't have removal for it also it's cpo3 which is like expensive so really cool card we actually pulled this one on the channel in a cpo3 opening so that's pretty cool you can rip a card out of your opponent's hand I, I like it i think it's pretty good then we got the sinister servant not the tfk sinister servant i know i know i've let you guys down the tfk version we're like what does that mean tfk okay so this is sdd stairway to destin duel it's a game promo tfk is the false bound kingdom you guys know about that it's a different game this card came in TFK in Spanish, I want to say. So Spanish, the False Bound Kingdom, I think I'm right about that, had Sinister Serpent. And for some reason, that card is like five grand. Bruh. Apparently it's rare. It's the exact same card, it just says TFK. That's why I haven't gotten it yet. Because, yeah, sure, it's worth a ton, but it's also like the same card. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend five grand. when you, Those are like $10, or at least they have been five to $10 for forever. So... I, I like that version. Then we have the legendary Moth, Magician of Faith. Champion Pack 2, both pulled on the channel. We opened some Champion Pack 2. Um, these are extremely expensive, probably because this card's really good in go format. It gets you a spell back on the flip effect. You can keep getting your Pot of Greed if you have Tsukiyomi. And then the fact that it's just, you know, it's classic. It's Magician of Faith. It's really nice. So these two are really nice to have. I have a PSA 10 as well, which is really cool. Um, I graded a PSA 9 and sold that one. I kind of wish I cracked it now. But these are really nice. Then we got another champion pack guy. We got the Knight Assailant. This card's pretty decent because it's a flip and destroy uh, the opponent's monster. And then if you ever discard it, you can return a flip effect to your hand. So like Magician of Faith, you could get back, which is pretty crazy. It's not needed, but it is pretty good. So I don't know. I feel like this deck just lacks a lot of focus. That's what I feel like. It, it, there's not a focus on what we're going to do. It's just a lot of random generic cards. That's what it feels like. That's all of our main deck monsters. Then we get into the spells, which, yeah, we're going to get big here. Okay, we've got the measly first edition for Onic Guardian Common, which is like $15 for some reason. Then there are these, the Champion Pack Metamorphosis, which are extremely expensive. I mean, extremely expensive. These might be the most expensive cards in the deck. They're crazy. The last time I saw, they were bought out at like $2,500. That's probably not that much. That was just TCG player, but... That was nutty. Play set of these. These are really good to get into your thousand eyes. Kind of the main point of the deck. So, uh, yeah, we run three of these. I only have two champion packs because that's all we got out of our uh, 80 packs of champion pack one, which we opened. 20k special, by the way. That was awesome. Check it out up there. And speaking of the 20k special, we've got two more. The Book of Moon champion pack. This at the time was the most expensive champion pack card, but I think Metamorphosis passed it. Champion pack one, I mean. So we got two of them out of there as well. And then we got an ultimate rare. So we got at least an ultimate rare as the third copy. It doesn't really match. Some of you guys' OCD is going crazy right now. I know, but I don't have a third champion pack. I don't want to spend like $500 or whatever it is. So we have these three. Obviously, Book of Moon is great. Um, same reason for Tsukiyomi. It kind of does the same thing. And also, it can defend. So pretty versatile card. And then we have our first edition MST. So there's ultimate rare of this. There's a ghost rare of this. First edition MRL. I'm just keeping it consistent here. I do like the Ghost Rare. I have it in a different uh, in a different deck. So pretty cool one. Um, not much to say. Everyone knows everything about MSD. It negates, obviously. So on to the next thing. We've got two scapegoat. I'm only using two of these. Some use three. Um, but three is kind of a lot. You don't really tend to need three. 
Two is pretty good. So we got one secret rare and one ultimate rare. I think I used to have two ultimate rares. Did I sell one or something? I don't know what happened. Secret rare actually looks better, to be honest, but uh, the ultimate rare is probably worth a little bit more. So yeah, we're, we're mixing and matching. I know some people hate that, but sorry. Then we got the uh, the Delinquent Duo, first edition MRL, keeping it consistent. I think this is high rarity. I don't know of anything. I don't think it has another, like a better rarity than Ultra. It probably has, it has a secret in one of the legendary collections, but that's it. Then we got ourselves a Pot of Greed first edition Duelist Pack Kaiba. By the way, I'm sure a lot of you guys will ask, these are double sleeves and dragon shields. Both are dragon shield sleeves. First edition ultimate rare, Pot of Greed. I mean, it does not get better, much better than that. That is awesome. That's just amazing. Then we got the Premature Burial. This was in that 10K collection we bought. Uh, it was in good condition, so I was like, all right, we'll replace the one I had. had like a crease in it or something. So this is a lot better. First edition PSV, that's a good one. This is also a replacement. This used to be either a, it was like an Asian English or something like that. So we got the Noble Moon, we got the real one, you know, the North American. Nothing else is real unless it's North American first. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's pretend like I didn't say that. Then we got the Snatch Steel first edition MRL. I think that's high as well, high rarity. I mean, there's no reason to explain these cards. They're amazing. They're really good. Here's where we're lacking. Unlimited Metal Raiders. Oh my goodness. Disappointing to say the least. Yeah, but there we go. Heavy Storm, great, just an amazing card. No reason for it not to be in there. Graceful Charity, of course, is insane. It's weird. This is a weird one. There's there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of good options. There's like the the Dark Legends Super Rare, I think, is a good option. And then this is, I know uh, some people don't like this one because it is not upper deck printed. So it is a newer print because it's Yugi's World. So a lot of people don't like this one and it's unlimited. So I'm scrubbing away right there. Here's Mirror Force. This Mirror Force is in bad shape. I mean, it's in bad shape. It's like it's like Heavy Plate or something, but it looks really nice. A little bit faded. You gotta like that one. We got the Torrential. Good one. First edition LON. Yeah, this is a nice card. Yeah, you gotta appreciate that. I mean, the artwork is so simple, yet so nice looking. I always like this one. Just a couple more traps. We got a Secret Rare First Edition Pharaonic Guardian. Could be Ultimate Rare First Edition. It's a tough call. I really like the Secret Rare on this. I think it looks really good. Then we go into the Call of the Haunted, Call of the Haunted Bones. First Edition Pharaoh Servant. That's a nice card as well. And then we go to the Sakuretsu Armor. And do we, we don't even need to explain these traps. I mean, they're just to stop battle off the time and stuff like that. So these are Champion Pack, uh, what was this? Champion Pack 1 as well. Champion Pack 1 is so good. We pulled this in the 20k special as well. So there's the whole deck. We'll have some prices come up. Um, see what kind of the whole deck is worth. And I went over a little bit about what why some of the cards are in there. I think all the traps and spells for the most part are good. Maybe if you think I'm wrong about that, maybe we need to replace something. Let me know. Then we're going to run through the extra deck real quick. We have 3,000 eyes, of course, because, I mean, that's what you do. The metamorphosis is in 1,000 eyes. You take their monster, you attack them, or do whatever. Yeah, that's good. Then Fiend Skull. You just, these are, my, my extra deck is not too thought out. It's kind of like 1,000 eyes and then a bunch of random stuff. So... We got like level five, level six, level five. So just some different levels, just in case you want to use metamorphosis on something else. Five, six, I need to put this in order. We got a level six. So like all these level six dark blades, dark blade, it's like, I don't know why you would ever use dark blade, but for some reason I have it in there. I have three ultimate rares, by the way, and two of them are first edition. Then I got dark fire dragon, which I actually used the other day. Um, it wasn't good, but I did use it. That's a level four. And then the token. So. The extra deck could definitely use some work. I think it definitely needs to be spruced up with some better cards. So uh, a lot of work to do on that. But uh, now let's get into the upgraded, the new, the new tier one. All right. So this is the Chaos Warrior deck that. So, yeah, I found out that this that there was a change in the meta. And I was like, all right, I got to figure out what these new decks are. And I saw this deck. And I was like, all right, I got to build that. I'm going to see how it works. Chaos Warrior. I always prefer Chaos just because it's fun, you know, Black Luster Soldier, Chaos Sorcerer. There's also just a pure Warrior deck, which is, probably, which is also tier 1. So I went with the Chaos version. Um, obviously, you just want to have the BLS in there. This is not blinged out, by the way. This is just some extra cards I had. Some of them are nice, some of them are not. So, like, Unlimited Black Luster Soldier. Um, let's see if we can get this in a nice lighting. Okay, we got a Chaos Sorcerer. So just two Chaos. So it's not too crazy. Um, then it's got the Skill Dark Magician. As I said, it's got, like, some big beaters. And 1,900 in here. Just because he's a big guy. He's not even a warrior. Then we got Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, which is just a pretty good card. It attacks a, a card in defense mode and destroys it automatically. Which is pretty nice. It has to be face up, though. So an 1,800 is pretty decent. Two Kai Three Kaiku, actually, because this guy's just insane. 1,800, if he does damage, you banish from the graveyard. So all those, like, go control and all that stuff, when they have stuff in the graveyard, they want to banish for chaos. 
boom, they're gone. I mean, all it has to do is do life point damage, which is crazy. Then you got the breaker, obviously. No need to explain that. Three Blade Knight. We explained this earlier, but now we're playing three. So that's pretty strong. Tribe Infecting. Obviously, it was banned. DD Warrior Lady. I guess it's pretty good. It's a warrior card. So it, it's searchable by Rhoda, which is reinforcement of the army, and there's two of these in the deck. Um, Don's Luke. If it inflicts damage and life points, it discards a card. That's insane. Or Mills cards. So either one are both really good. Exile Force, you can get rid of anything. You put it on the field, pop it with uh, priority or whatever. Insane. Then... Mystic Swords in level 2. One, it's an ultimate rare. Another good reason to have it in there. And then two, face down flip effects don't get activated when it attacks them, which is nuts. So all those good cards like Magician of Faith, Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar, all that stuff, nothing. You attack it, sorry, no luck. Then for the spells, you got Double Nobleman, obviously. I mean, it was limited to two, so you gotta play both of them when you're playing all these face downs and against everybody else. Rhoda, here's our uh, collector rare. We put it in there. And then we got a first edition LOD. Graceful Charity is obviously insane. Link with Duo, gotta play those. Snatch Duo, gotta play all these. They're just nuts. Pot of Greed, Heavy Storm, it's just all the same cards for spells, basically. For Traps, this one plays three Solemn Judgment, which is, I love. I love being able to negate stuff, or, you know, counter a spell, a summon even, a spell, a trap activation, whatever. This is such a good card. I mean, you have to play a little risky, because you can pay like 4k life points or something right off the bat. But it is a really strong card, and it gives you a lot of options. Then there's three trap dust dust you can just stop their opponent right in their tracks at the first uh, beginning of the game. This is obviously more of a, you know, if you have a sideboard, you want to side these out, you know, after the first game or whenever you're going first. If you're not going first, you want to get rid of them. Sakuretsu armor, those are both really good. Dust Tornado, um, obviously Torrential Tribute. Ring Destruction, there's the ultimate rare. We got a Mirror Force and Call it Down. Not, not, I don't really need to explain those, but as you guys see, it's just kind of like a powerful four star and under kind of stuff and you just keep hitting them with powerful effects or traps spells and the goat control usually just can't keep up like it doesn't have enough resources and this thing just usually wins so this is kind of what i've been using more so than the goat control so maybe we'll max this one out too it could be fun let me know what you guys think this kind of turned out to be a lot longer than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be like a 10 minute video it says 33 minutes but i also had to reorganize my deck so it might be probably shorter than that hopefully but hope you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know what you think about go format let, you, let me know what you think about my decks should we have some go format videos We're like just dueling should we do some remote duels should we do some dueling book whatever i would love to do some more dueling on the channel at some point especially old school i love the old stuff that's kind of what i understand so if you guys have ideas of some ways that i could do that you know if you have cool ideas even if i don't use your idea maybe it gives me another idea that we could do I think that'd be a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, subscribe for more epic videos. This Saturday, all the 2014s, Blade Knight's in there. We're going to pull ourselves a GOAT format card. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark Monsters Turn! Have their goal! Oh, no! It wasn't the last pack! Oh, my God! Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!